Remember when cruise control was an expensive option that didn't work very well? Well, thankfully, those days are long gone. Modern computer-controlled engine management systems made cruise control so easy that almost all cars now offer the feature as standard equipment. The leading edge of technology today is adaptive cruise control, which automatically maintains following distance to the car ahead of you. In this video, we'll take a look at advanced cruise control systems and see how they work. Audi was among the first automakers to offer adaptive cruise control. The technology is derived from Audi's innovative work towards self-driving cars. Where most adaptive cruise control systems simply use a radar or cameras to set pace with the vehicle in front, the new Audi A4 goes a lot further. By taking into account speed signs and topography when calculating the ideal travel velocity. If you have a destination set on the GPS, it'll even decelerate the car as it approaches corners identified in the GPS maps. But it's not quite fully autonomous driving since you have to keep your hands on the wheel, at least for now. Acura uses a front-mounted radar system to implement both adaptive cruise control and collision mitigation automatic braking. Acura's system allows you to preset any speed from 20 to 95 miles per hour but also includes a low-speed follow function that enables the RLX to adapt to any traffic condition. As with all adaptive systems, Acura allows you to set your following distance. If traffic does come to a complete stop, you can move the car and re-engage the following distance with a light tap on the gas pedal. Volvo implements its adaptive cruise control a little differently than other brands. Instead of maintaining a set distance from the vehicle in front of you, the Volvo system maintains a preset time interval. So the faster you go, the more following distance the Volvo will give you. When traffic slows to a crawl, the Volvo will close up the gap but maintain a safe traveling distance to the car ahead. The Volvo system is among the more advanced adaptive cruise control technologies available. For example, the Volvo does not require any action on the driver's part in stop-and-go traffic. Subaru implemented its adaptive cruise control system using a pair of colored cameras and appropriately named the system EyeSight. In addition to automatically adjusting speed to maintain distance in surrounding traffic, the EyeSight system functions as a lane departure control and will actually look ahead of the car in front of you to detect dangerous situations before they occur. If the EyeSight system detects a potential slowdown, it will reduce throttle and be ready to engage the system's automatic pre-collision braking. The Subaru system also supports adaptive cruise control even in stop-and-go traffic. Advancements in adaptive cruise control are impressive, but you should be aware that adaptive systems cannot always detect stopped or oncoming vehicles in time to avoid a collision and not all of them can detect pedestrians or cyclists on the roadway. In the end, it's the driver that is still in control. As we continue to march towards full autonomy, these features will continue to improve. To see just how far these systems have come, schedule a test drive today. You can get started at AutoNation.com.